Yellow. Okay, good morning. Here we go. Fresh new scene. And this is gonna be a fun one today. I wanna do this little funky crab guy, which we did. We did a drawing of him uh, a while ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, back when we were doing drawing every day. And this one was pretty fun. So I wanna try to do a little 3D version of him. And I think I'm gonna try to get some hair going in here too. He's pretty fuzzy. Yeah. Morning, Andy. Hello. Man, I feel bad about ragging on your your poor Mac last night. Cause I know I know that's probably expensive. Those Macs are are quite expensive. But I feel I feel bad for that that Mac. It is. It is sad. It is dying. Um, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So you sure there's no? I mean, I guess you you already found that setting for the video card, but damn, it's a bummer. Uh, yeah. Christmas is coming up though. <laughs> oh. Hello, Umba. Hello, Sina. Alright. So here's the rough version right here. Hello, Didi. Hello, Ivan. Oh, okay. Do any of you guys in here use a Mac with Blender? Um, or a laptop that has two GPUs? Because I'm, I'm, we're trying to figure out how to tell Blender to use the, the better GPU out of the two. Instead of you know like the the junky um, Intel like built-in GPU, maybe not. I don't know. Keyword radius not unrecognized. Okay. All right. I think they just changed this keyword in the um, what should we call it? the update the UI paper cuts update so let me check what's broken is this broken keyword size unrecognized so size for the cylinders that should I think that's been changed to radius and then keyword radius has been changed to size okay I'm gonna go fix that real quick um, Let's see. Do, 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 do. I need to get my scripts from, from in here, in here. Scripts, startup. That's what I get for trying to scriptify 2.8. Uh, so it's in my ad pie. And the mesh planes here, I just need to change this radius to size. Size. And then I need to change the size here to radius. I believe that should work. I hope that works. All right, let me save this one. Call it Battle Crab. And he is in. Uh, 
All right, so let's close this up, reopen my blender, and see if this works. Shift A. I want that. Good. Merp. Good. Yep. 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 Okay, perfect. All set. All right. Let's open up Battle Crab again. What about nice six sided? Radian Pro 570. What do you have, Andy? What what video card do you have again? I I still feel like a computer that new. It's only a year old. It should it should be able to handle those kind of scenes with with whatever card it has. Oops. <laughs> DD says your card should have a software manager. Yeah. Hmm. So Andrew, when you when you do stuff in EV, does it start to chug, or is it is the performance pretty good? Like if you have a relatively complicated scene in EV, because we're having trouble with Max in class. I mean, Max Max in general have always not been great for three D. Um, I don't know, the video cards are always sort of weak in the Mac, Macs lately. But hopefully we can figure it out. Three DS Max. This is this is Blender here. I'm just kind of make this weird pimply shape over here. Radeon Pro 555. Okay. And that is equivalent to what? Let's see. Radeon Pro 555. Because I, I kind of, I'm more familiar with NVIDIA versus 1060. Let's see. Is it more like a 1060 or 1050? GPU benchmark. Oh, Jesus. Does anybody know what this compares to? Oh, GeForce MX150. Ooh. Damn. All right. Well, then that's maybe that's not gonna do it then. Uh, boy. Yeah, it's that might be um 
That it, it might be just the card then. That's that's um uh like barely getting away with it kind of a card. <laughs> Sorry, man. But the good news is that laptops are getting pretty fast lately and very like cheap. I mean not cheap, but it's pretty amazing the performance that laptops have. And um, they're also really light too. Because before the lap laptops used to be like super chunky if you wanted a good video card. But there's a bunch now that really fly and they and, and they're pretty lightweight too. Um, but yeah, maybe next year, I don't know. Morning, Lloyd. save no wait is it this one no okay did a bad job anyway let's do it damn it Sorry. My fault. Forgot to save. chubby down here. Tiny bit chubby. Is it just me or has Blender been crashing a lot lately? Yeah, a, a little bit more lately um, than the previous build, but it's okay. They're going through growing pains, I guess. No problem. Save this. Okay. <gasps> okay, here we go. And actually, um, you know, maybe it's better to do this. I wonder if it's better. Hmm. What if this is, um, I'm going to separate this off into its own mesh and make it into something like this. And then I guess we could go like that. Um, shift E. No, no, actually I want the border, and then shift E, and then one to make it straight, and then back here, extrude that, scale it in like that. Uh, 
I just love that shape. It's the one of the coolest. It looks like a cyborg or something. Okay, the same thing over here. Negative one. Let's make that smooth again. Um, Ivan, I I don't use hard ops yet. I I would like to use it someday. I'm I've just been trying to get my scripts like working and chasing down bugs and stuff, so I haven't had a chance to use it. Hard ups seems like a really good um, way to make the mechanical shapes. Um, EGPU are not worth it. Yeah, that seems like that kind of defeats the whole purpose of a laptop, doesn't it? To just have another whole box there and all that crap. Is there a website picking up the PC parts? You only give them the purpose you want to use it for. Um, I don't know. That would be cool. They'll probably charge you a lot for that, though. What are your thoughts on Surface Book 2? It's got a 1060. Um, yes, but let's 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 check the Surface Book 2 specs here. And the pr I'm I'm worried about the price though, because here we here let's look at it. Amazon. So the Surface Book 2. Um, i5, that's kind of shit. Let, let's, let's get the high spec version here. And we, we need the, uh, 10 fifth. No, we want Surface Book 2. I, I would, I would avoid the Surface Book. That's my opinion. Because they're, they're a little bit overpriced for what you get. Um, it has i7. So here, this this seems like the top of the line one maybe. It has an i7 and still a 1050. No, that's not good. Especially for two thousand dollars, you could get something really nice. So just just search laptops at 1070 or 1060 and see what pops up. So these ones have a six-core CPU. So that's already you got like two more cores than the than the surface book so that's gonna go way faster oh actually yeah six core right here so this this will run way faster than that that surface book too it's got a 1070 and uh, the six core processor so I would get something like that or here a thousand dollars and you get a 1060 that's pretty good so for a thousand dollars this computer will run faster than the surface book um do 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 so yeah the the basically the the GPU here the the 1070 or the 1060 is the main the main factor for EV and i mean for pretty, pretty much most of what you're doing in blender it's going to depend on this graphics card so anything with the 1060 1070 would be good or you can go crazy like Phil and uh, Logan and get get a 1080. Um, yeah, this this guy's got 1080. That's the one I I have in class, but got it on Craigslist for 1900. Um, yeah, Craigslist is good for getting hardware too. Anyway, this is kind of off topic here. <laughs> Let me get back to this. Hey Lou. Um, yeah, guys, please do not buy those creative branded pro products <laughs> like the uh, Cintiq. That Cintiq computer is garbage. Garbage. Also, let's let's look at the specs of the com the Cintiq. Oh my God. 
why would Wacom make a computer? <laughs> Mobile Studio, look at this. $3,000? What does it have? It has an i7, an old i7. Or is that a new i7? I don't know. But this is not as fast as those lap... It doesn't have the, the um, six cores like those later laptops. And then this Quadro, I don't even know what this is for, but that looks like crap. It's, um, it's 200, let's see. What is this com comparable to? Hundred M versus I just love shitting on everything on my stream. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I just it's, I can't help it. It's just my my curse. I have to shit on everything. Okay, here we go. GTX 960 M. This is way old. This is like years ago generation. Um, so any of these computers. From that we just looked at with the 1060 or 1070 is gonna blow this out of the water. GTX 970. So, Lloyd, how would you feel if you spent $3,000 on a computer and it had a GTX 970? I mean, that's... It, the 970 is good, but that was good three three years ago or whatever, however many years ago. Exactly. And it did it cost $3,000? I don't know. Yeah, so I mean, I've noticed that usually when, when they market something towards creatives, they'll usually increase the price quite a bit and lower the specs. So they, I don't know why, they just assume that artists, like, well, maybe it's because they're, they're, they're not expecting to sell as many of them. So it's maybe it's like a lower production and they need to charge more because it's a lower production. But it kind of sucks because all these products they're they're just the performance to price ratio is pretty bad they're cool like I like the idea of having a you know creative um, geared products but I, I usually try to avoid them because they're they're not a good deal Yeah, I think $1,000 is pretty reasonable. I mean, that's like, you can get de good, decent hardware for $1,000. I think that's like a sweet spot. And all you, all you gotta do nowadays is just search, get a gaming laptop. Any kind of g regular gaming laptop is gonna run really well because gaming laptops have good video cards. And that's what Blender needs. It's a good video card. So here, this one this one this is a great deal actually thousand dollars for 1060 six gigs 1060 pretty good um this is a four core i7 but still that's pretty good that's awesome it's, um, and it, it comes with an ssd and everything this is really cool these um laptops are getting pretty amazing lately look at that um Six, I think these are, some of these are six cores, so it's like faster than a desktop. 
in some cases. But here, this is the GTR, uh, GTX MX150 right here, and you know, that's $600. So that card should not be in such a expensive product. Um. What machine do I use? I'm I'm using this one is um I just bought this one off Craigslist. It's a it's a few years old actually, and it is a it's a six core desktop, and I have a a 1070 in it. So it's. It's not like bleeding edge. I I just bought it off Craigslist, and um, it works pretty good. I used to like build all my computers, cust like custom build them every time on Newegg and all that. But lately, I'm just lazy. I just want to. And and also on Craigslist, you can usually find, you know, people just basically giving away old stuff that they don't want anymore. So you can get it pretty good discount so my select through is not working right now fail for copy on right Yeah, the razors look pretty nice. They are kind of expensive, though. Um, what am I doing here? You guys follow um, that guy Dave 2D, who does the laptop reviews. Pretty good reviews. I'm, it's so weird. Like I just watch his videos, even just to, even. I mean, I'm not even shopping for a laptop or anything. I just like to watch him because he. He does such a good job with the production. And I. I just want to see them. I like how he just like, like, caresses the laptop with his fingers. <laughs> he just like, he's like doing the, the um, wheel of fortune, type of thing. Or the Price is Right type. I don't know. It's, I love it. <laughs> so dumb. Why do I? Why do I watch those? Dude, I used to think high-end laptop. I I used to think laptops were stupid in general. Like I was so super die-hard. Like in college, I would bring my desktop computer to college and back home. Like I didn't have a lap. I didn't buy a laptop through school. So I was like bringing it on the airplane, on the luggage, bringing a whole freaking computer back and forth with me. That's how hardcore I was about desktop computers but then lately I just realized why am I why am I punching myself in the face I need to just the laptops are so fast now it like you don't even doesn't even feel like you're on a laptop and they just fit in your backpack backpack it's really cool you can you can go work anywhere Especially if you do a lot of 
yeah i mean it's great for just flexibility you know just go work on your vacation or just work in cafe or whatever i don't know Honestly, though, I mean, for, for most stuff, you don't need a crazy computer. Like, this thing, this kind of simple, crabby thing, you could do this on anything. You could do this on a potato. You know, it's more about just, I don't know, I just want to have fun with modeling. This guy's missing all sorts of... He's like a pirate crab. A pirate commando crab. Uh. I saw um, this one guy on the... Uh, Yiming, he's on the Discord. Let me open up Discord for a second. He actually built his own computer, a little miniature computer plus tablet from scratch. This guy is like a genius. He, he 3D printed it. He, okay, he designed the computer case in Blender. And then he bought the parts that he needed, like the screen, the, the Cintiq screen, the, the pen tablet registration thing, and it and then he assembled it with a with a Raspberry Pi, which is like a tiny little thirty dollar computer. And then now he's using it. Let's see, where is he? Yeah, Yiming. He he's also doing this land PR stuff. So he's he's actually a a super smart. Um, developer guy <laughs> and he's, he's making this like uh, non photorealistic shaders and like wireframe shaders for blender right now um, where is he where is he oh my gosh sorry guys I gotta find this it's amazing Yeah, so this is the computer he designed in Blender. <laughs> I don't know how he got all this measurement and stuff to work perfectly like that. And he even like designed the buttons in here. Um, here's the, the screen, goes in here. And uh, extremely sexy wireframes. And then here, He's actually building the thing. Oh my, where do you even find all this stuff? So he built his own Cintiq panel here. And then... And then now he's got Blender on it. Isn't that crazy? This is a $30 computer. Plus, I don't know how much the screen costs, but it's probably cheap. And he wrote the freaking button numbers on there with a, with a pen. It's genius. I would, I would go. I mean, imagine if you could just buy this for like a hundred dollars. For with all the, I mean, all the supplies and everything. It's pretty cool. Um, hey, Rockot. Yeah, this, these are all custom pies and scripts here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Asus ROG Zephyrus. Haven't used my desktop in months. Yeah, man. Zephyrus is awesome. 
What's going on here? Da -da -da. Using I five. Yeah. Dude, Daniel, have has your Zephyrus started to like bubble in the battery area? Is uh, mine just like the battery is about to explode or something? Cause the keyboard's actually like bubbling up. It it's 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 like a little hill. All the keys, <laughs> and the battery is totally um, dead now. Like it it has to be plugged in at all times. But other than that, it's it works great. <laughs> uh. Predator laptop. Yeah, Yuming is a really great artist too. He is crazy how much stuff he's doing. Um, is it possible to land a gig somewhere by attending a, only one course at CDA? I don't. That's a impossible question to answer, man. But. I would say that CDA is a very good, you have a good chance of finding jobs by attending CDA. Frequently used modifiers, yep, I mean, totally. It's worth the time investment to make your own pies and stuff. All right, Oxer, good luck. No bulges in the battery area. Yeah, man, I don't know why it started doing that. It's like, it's a really big... It, the, the keys are all, like, misshapen. <laughs> it's really bad. Change the origin of the reference image? What do you mean? I don't understand. Why would you change the origin of this? It's an empty, so the or it, it'll always stay in the middle of it. I don't think you can change it. Yeah, Andy, have you taken CDA classes also?
Oh, okay. Do do a lot of brainstorm people take CDA classes also, or is it usually like one or the other? Do you feel like? It's crazy how fast um, Brainstorm is growing. It's nuts. University of Hard Knocks. Oh yeah, forgot about that school. It's where all the the, uh, the orphans of concept art. I want to. I, I wish there was um. I need to make the handsome boy modeling school. That's what I want to. That's what I want to see. Handsome boy modeling school. Oh, nice. I've I've taken the Bill Perkins class. He's he's pretty amazing. He can talk, man. Bill Perkins can talk. Where can we find the recording for last Wednesday's class? Oh, I um, sent it to you guys on on Skype. So it, it's on the same Skype uh, message um, stream or whatever. Wait, Lapoon, who who is this? What's it's hard to tell screen names from real real names. <laughs> Oh, all right. Hey, Max. Maybe I should email everybody. Um, yeah. I guess I'll do that. Let me write that down. Email. Is it Blurth? What kind of name is that? <laughs> what is your uh <laughs> It's a very interesting name, is it Blurth? Are you from Planet Gazorpa Glorp? Attending multiple terms is hard for international students. 
I asked attending one course would help in lending a gig to provide portfolio should be good. Yeah, I don't think anyone can answer that question for you, Abhishek. It's um it's it's all nothing is set in stone. They're they're not gonna hand you a job once you take the class. You you have to go and put yourself out there and try it. But what I'm saying and what we're saying is that you have a very good it's probably the best place to go. Out of any school in my in my knowledge I would recommend CDA and Brainstorm. Those two. So if you go to either one of those, you'll you'll be you'll have a very a good chance. But nobody can guarantee anything that's going to happen. That's impossible. And I would also keep keep trying to find people that have attended there, Abhishek. So try to do some research and see who who's taking classes there and talk to them. Yeah, go stalk all these people. No, but it's true. I mean, if you if you're gonna be going somewhere, you want to know what it's gonna be like, right? You should probably try to do some research and see what people think about it, and talk to people, and yeah. Especially for something like that, where it, you know you you're traveling so far and it's expensive and everything do your research is going on here there's so much crap growing on this guy's face can't even see what's happening what about like this this was me in um in high school it's all this crap growing out of my face nobody could tell what i was trying to say too much stuff in the way. I look like a pirate. Hairy pirate. This car this crab is my spirit animal. like he's seen some shit. Actually, I haven't seen that much shit. My life has been relatively uneventful. I'm sure you guys have much crazier stories than I do. Oh.
I'm not okay. <laughs> Miss those stupid songs. So uh, well, the thing I don't get about those like teenage, teenage angst bands and singers is like, aren't most of those people older when they're by the time they're singing those songs about teenage angst aren't they like in their 20s or 30s and isn't that a little bit weird and i think that's a little bit like are they really feeling those feelings or are they just trying to capitalize on all of the angst in the world the teenage angst you know Hello, Torben. Oh, good point. They are too thick. <laughs> Let me remedy that. Good eye. Why does he have three arms? Maybe he's, maybe he killed another crab and stole his arm. So now he's got three arms. Or maybe like he lost one arm. So then he stole someone else's arm. Then he kind of got used to the, the taste of stealing arms. So then he just stole another arm. So there's a ar serial arm stealer crab here. But then he lost a finger. But then his finger ended up on his head somehow. I think that I think I'm starting to piece together the story here. Why is it doing that? Oh. Why is it not? Why is it going all crazy like this? Oh, that's why. Yeah, we're about to get to the hair, I think. It is hair time. Um, let me just get this guy going here. Okay, saved it. Apply. There we go. Let's see if this happens again. No. Oh, 
Whatever lumpy fellow. I want to reduce this, so I'm going to just select all the every other edge. And then with uh, I'm using shift click and then shift Z to select every other edge and then control shift uh, oh sorry control alt double click to select all the loops and then control X to get rid of it so I'll do that again shift alt one two shift Z shift alt control X and then now we can go like that. Uh, I can't see. So let's try, let's try some hair here. So I think all these guys could have some hair. Let's go down to particles and make a new particle system and then change it to hair. Whoa. And then the length, let's bring it down. <laughs> that looks pretty decent. <laughs> Maybe that's too much. Whoa. All right. And then we should have the ability to comb him. <laughs> um I just want a little bit of randomization here. Not too much. And then can we cut? Or can we remove? Oh, add? How about remove? There's no remove? Sorry guys, I'm not really a, a hair person here. Does anyone know how to remove stuff? Does cut work? Oh, that, that works. Seems like he shaves his, his lower legs. This is like the opposite of me. I'm, I'm super hairy in my lower legs, but not anywhere else. <laughs> Place them later after making them all? What do you mean? I think... Uh, do, 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 do. So what made you want to switch to online? Um, I just want to do it online. I want to try to, I don't know, be more independent, I guess. No beef with Brainstorm. Do, 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 do. Place them later after. I don't understand. I already. I did make them all. I don't. Know what you're talking about. Do, do. Add some here. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's it's because of it's 
because of you, Andy. I couldn't stand to see your face anymore. So, no, I'm just kidding. Actually, your your class, this class honestly has been one of the most exciting 3D classes so far because I feel like you guys actually got into it a bit, <laughs> which is really exciting to me. Um, so I hope, I hope it's been fun. I'm trying to make it fun. I'm trying to make it more like, like we're all kind of discovering stuff every week. And we, we are because Blender keeps changing every week. So there's always new stuff. And I think that makes it fun because, because you're, you're sort of discovering stuff every time. Save this. Put another hair on here. Whoa! Too much. This looks like a car wash. Like those brushes on the car wash. Um, but we need, we need a lot less here. Doing, 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 doing. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, 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 boing. How come I can't change the hair length? Oh, once you start combing it, you're you're screwed, huh? This is pretty fun, actually. Can I change the length? So I just gotta do it this way. Can I comb it? Boing, boing. Doing, doing, doing. What's my age? I'm 29, and yes, I'm, I am professional. I do this stuff a lot. I don't do sculpting a lot. I, I'm usually doing spaceships or mechs or something like that, but I don't know. I just want to try something new and play around. But normally I do design for for um, animation and film. I've done some video game stuff too, and um, and then I also teach teach a lot of Blender lately. So I'm I teach online classes. Um, this term I was teaching at Brainstorm School, but. Um, Oh, uh, that was only for this term. So, yeah. Do, 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 do. Place legs only after combing them. Oh, so you can get a copy of each comb? But I, I, I kind of want the, I want the comb to be different on each leg though, too. Maybe, I don't know. Alright, let me save this. Let's see what it looks like. Probably. Oh, dang. Good thing I saved. 
Good thing we say. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a light. I'm just gonna do a shade smooth on everything. Pretty good. Okay. What about the ground here? New. Let's call it grab. Change the color here. I'm gonna give everybody the same material. Ooh, what about a chrome crab? Chrome crest. <laughs> What about subsurface? No subsurface? Can we have subsurface, please? Subsurface. Subsurface. What am I doing wrong? I'm always doing something wrong. Oh, okay. That's what it was. So what, he's like green, he sort of looks green. So that means we need to change the subsurface colors here. There's red, green, and blue. Let's Increase the green. Maybe decrease the red. Ooh. I guess it it changes too depending on where we are. Maybe let me see this. Okay, I'm going to try to control this with uh, vertex color. So, let's see. I'm going to add in uh, attribute of type color, or the name color. And let's plug this into subsurface color. Alright, so now everything that has a white vertex color will, or, I mean, yeah, the vertex colors will apply here. So let me just give everything... Uh, orange color first okay and then certain areas um, I'll try green let's, let's try over here green yeah okay Maybe like that. 
No. <sighs> okay, I can live with that. I tend to overreact sometimes, guys. I'm sorry. I'll try not to hurt your earballs. Oh, by the way, is this sound good? Sound, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I guess it's good. Sounds good. Pretty low saturation in there. Sort of like that. And then it's a little bit red. A little bit red over here. There we go. And let's see, this this stuff is pretty pink. But then um, on the edges here, I feel like it gets more, it gets more like yellowish or brighter. Or maybe that's just the lighting, but I'm going to go with my gut here, my artistic license. Save this again. Kind of that sickly, sickly green over here. It's a tricky, tricky color here. And then it becomes white on the on the knuckles, or the joints become white. Get everything in here and make it white. So yeah, it's a really fun way to paint. It's a lazy way to paint and a fun and don't have to go into Photoshop and get your results pretty quickly. <laughs> this is creeping me out. So weird. Hmm. 
I guess I could also just use vertex paint mode. Let's let's switch over to vertex paint. And we got some painting tools here. And let's go into properties. Come on. Come on, guys. Everybody's watching here. Fuck. Okay, there we go. I don't know why, why we had to select something first. Ugly. You so ugly. You so ugly. Ugly and beautiful. That's such a good combination. Ugly and beautiful. Ugly and beautiful. That's the best, because then people can't hate you for being beautiful. But then you are. You're secretly beautiful. Right, Crab? You're secretly beautiful. I actually feel a little bit bad for beautiful people, because I feel like they get an automatic um, bias against them sometimes. You know, you're like, oh, you didn't have to work for anything, because you you're pretty so that must mean that people just give you things for free but i don't know is that true do people give pretty people things for free i don't know um maybe i shouldn't feel sorry for them they probably feel sorry for me <laughs> They're like man what would it like be like to be ugly jeez Oh, can't imagine it, bro. Probably girls think you're creepy. And, uh... You don't get free stuff all the time? What the hell? What kind of world... I wouldn't want to live in that kind of world. I need my free stuff. Oh, wait, no, no, he... That finger is somewhere else. Never mind. He doesn't need that finger here. Okay, who who in the chat considers themselves themselves beautiful? <laughs> I'm curious. Who well, I'm talking about just physically. Who who in here is physically beautiful? Right, or who who considers themselves to be uglier than average? <laughs> uh, this is a horrible question to ask. I'm sorry. I shouldn't. Uh, never mind. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I am majestic. Of course. <laughs> Are all blue Blutherians majestic creatures from planet? Zorpaglorp. Ekrant 
is not what? What are you not? Beautiful or ugly? You're not not beautiful? I bet where this crab comes from, he's a stud. I bet all the lady crabs are just like oh my gosh, he's such a bad boy. Look at him. Look at all his warts. He has three arms. Have you seen Billy? He has three arms. I heard he steals arms for fun. Whoa. Let me save this and go to Vertex Paint. Zablurth, you're the only one. So how can you compare yourself to other Zablurthians? You might be the ugliest one ever, but I mean, if you're the only one, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Yeah, he only has two in the in the photo, but I, I like the story that he has three. Just because he's got a... It looks like he has a bunch of extra stuff in general. Why not have extra? He's very extra. Alright, man. I guess you're also, like, the king of the Zablurthians because... You're the only one. So whatever you says go goes. Whatever you say goes, I guess. It's not a very diverse race. But he's also an extinct race. So Alright, let's try um I think this guy has a lot of bump bump on him. He's very lumpy. I like all these little tiny highlights or speckles going on so maybe we'll try to do that um, do, do, do. so maybe then the bump let's give it the, give him a bump well let me save this first before it crashes and then we can give him a bump and then oh man So how do I separate the hair? Do I need to separate the hair to a different material here? Or like separate the hair to another object? Or otherwise, is it possible to give the hair a different material? There must be a way, right? Color. stuff particles have a material offset option damn it is it am I missing it oh here it is material great Okay, let's um let's make a new material for the hair. There we go.
Nice. Okay, so then the hair material, let's give that some settings too. I think the hair material can be... We can try a hair BSDF. Let me save this before it crashes. Hair BSDF, go! Ooh. Oh god, that... That looks wrong. Change it. Change it, please. Oh god. It's so weird. Wait, why is the surface so dark? Do I need to change this? How do we change the color of the hair? Alright, maybe that's for um, cycles, but I'm getting creeped out, so I'm going to switch this to a uh, principle here. And, um, I want the hair to be a little bit shiny. It looks like it does, it catches some white highlights here and there. Oh, and they're also kind of curly on top. I wonder if I can do that. How do you do that? Right, and we can also control the hair by other means, right? So let's see. Subsurface color, let's control it with a hair info. Where is it? Color ramp. And the color ramp factor gets a hair info. Where is it? particle info or hair info there we go um, intercept now I want to change this color to be red and then the other color can be green so we can see what's going on so we can see where it's touching the surface it gets a certain color and then it fades out so maybe this red it can be like a greenish, less saturated, darker, darker green. This is creepy. This this head part in particular is very, it's creeping me out. There's literally a curl option. All right. Wait, where's the curl? Oh, it's in the particles. Let's see. Start and timing. Root, tip, strand shape. Stiffness. Man, there's a lot of settings here. <laughs> um, I can't find the curl though. Maybe it's in here. Structure. Oh boy. Nope. Alright, well. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm, does anyone know where the curl goes? Comb. 
Smooth puff. What is puffed? What about like to be very furry? What if, oh, what about a mohawk? This is kind of like it reminds me of trolls. You know? The little toys. So anyway, I can get back to this material now, which is what we were trying to do. Um, metal crab, metal punk crab. Oh, what, what were we doing? Bump, this changes to bump. The bump height needs a texture or in a way, maybe. Vector should be geometry object. Wait, texture coordinate object. There we go. And then the height. Way less. I don't I still don't get what what is the difference between distance and strength guys do you does anybody know well, I guess you could make it negative Using distance to. There we go. Distant takes more details in calculation. Hmm. I go with a low distance and a high strength. That actually looks like it. Wow. I, I want to eat him. <laughs> it's like jelly. Okay, Torben. Have a good one. See you next time. All right. Okay. the The other thing here that could be interesting on this material. Oh man, that looks pretty decent already. All right. So the other thing I want to try is to control the depth of the subsurface because some of these claws up here, they're not as see through as like the legs. I feel like so in certain points it gets to be opaque. So I will try to control that with another vertex color here. So I need to make a new vertex color map. I wish there was a way to do it here. What happened? Damn it. I have to go in here. Vertex colors. Let's add a new one. This one I will call sub depth. And um, this one, we should be able to control the depth. So I'm, I'm going to go onto my sub depth, and let's um, also we need to plug sub depth into the subsurface amount right here. So 
I need attribute. The name is sub depth enter. Okay, so now everything has what looks like. Let me see. If I go to that, did I? There. What? How do I? Oh, I think it's my fault. My fault. All right. So I'm on sub death here. How come it doesn't show it? Where the hell? Why isn't this going onto my depth here? I want to apply a white color depth and a black color. Oh, I was on the wrong material. Right? Yeah, okay, I was on the wrong material. Sorry. Attribute. Sub depth. There we go. So now everything has zero subsurface on it. And I want to apply full subsurface first. And then for the claws specifically, I can add in less. So maybe like down here. So now it'll start to like become more solid around the claws. And um, you do the same thing here, make him. Like we could, we could make these parts here become more opaque if we go here and add a like medium subsurface. There we go. It's become more opaque, and you can see it fading in there. It's kind of cool. I'll do the same thing over here. This one needs a color too. It's turning red.
Oh, he's got the style. This looks like um, when we add a light probe. Almost the same. <laughs> uh. Shape settings in the children tab. Let's try that out. Open this up again. bake the light in so it bakes in a, a second um, it bakes in a second bounce of light so it'll look more realistic well that was interesting what just happened there All right, let me go back the hell? Where's my shaders? What? What? Again, I, I guess hair is, is pretty crashy right now, but I um, would expect that, I guess. There's a lot of settings in here, and it seems very mathy. Um, okay, so children. Holy crap. That's awesome. Got some stubble. Holy crap. That's really cool. Wonder what this swirly one is. Wow. Oh, man.
Damn. He needs a trim. Uh, okay, let's see. Clumping. Kink. I'm going to save this before it crashes here. Curl. Wow. You look like a movie star now, Mr. Crab. It's amazing. Okay. Let's see. F2 point. Well, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm, this is pretty exciting. What does this do? What is going on here? Wow. be good for like a little desert scene oh yeah little desert scene totally club curve I'm gonna try to m match the light to the to this setup here.
simple. Not sure what's going on here, guys, but it seems to get be getting into a rather crashy state. I will um, attempt to get this all here so we can render. Uh, so for some reason, we got to go into faces mode to be able to see what's going on here with the materials. Okay, I'll save this. And, uh, damn it! Why is it doing that? So the subsurface looks like it's working in regular view. Then we go to oh, there we go. So I guess you just gotta switch back and forth like that. All right, this thing. If I okay, there we go. Killing me. Alright. One more try. Man, come on. Oh, there we go. Save that. All right, I'm going to render this now before it crashes again. Just give me a camera here. Was too fast. Let me try that again. Uh, I want 1920 by 1920. 
and I want a bit more samples what well, should be giving us that a bunch of samples right why is it only giving us a couple samples alright what if I add a camera in here Settings, render cam. All right, there we go. We got two fifty-six samples for the shadows. Mainly for the shadows. I don't think anything else needed that many samples. But here we go. Whoa. <laughs> We're okay. My hair hair settings need to be tweaked a little bit. That needs to be the same. Okay, one more time, one more time. Um, um, hi Vikrant, I'm, I'm from the United States. And hello Juan. Barcelona it's beautiful okay so I think that's it for today guys I did my best <laughs> I gave it a shot it's a little bit janky but I'm pretty excited I'm, I'm happy that we got to play with the, t the hair tools a little bit of uh, vertex painting for the, the colors in here and not bad it rendered in 14 seconds Thanks, Alex. Alexander. Thanks, Noodle. Ah, now what? This thing is freaking out again. Yeah, like <laughs> doing some hairy. Oh shit, what's going on here? Ah, uh, damn it. Set hair display to strip. Okay, where is that? Here.
God, there's a lot of settings. Um, render settings here. Oh, right. Strip. I don't know why my hair all of a sudden has um, decided to jump. It's because I did a uh, subdivision. Probably. I really hope this doesn't crash. Yeah, I, man, I still feel like there's something funny with these arms. Yeah, maybe just less sub subsurface in general is better. That looks better. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's what's happening here too. That makes sense. So if I switch to edit mode here, it's going to crash. Oh, oh wait. Okay, I'm lucky. Survived for this one. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> it's been a long one today, but thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to dislike and un unsubscribe and report this channel and um, delete me off of YouTube, please. Okay, um, have a good day and I'll see you next time. Tomorrow, uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time, again, every day. Uh, see you then. Bye.